So there are different types of fertility drugs. Uh, we've got the pill forms, such as clomiphene citrate. We've got injectable medications that stimulate the ovaries. Those are called gonadotropins. We've got medications that prevent ovulation. Those are called GnRH agonists or antagonists. And then we've got um, medications that help mature the, the eggs or really, uh, cause ovulation. Clomiphene citrate is a pill that's taken for five days early in the menstrual cycle, typically starting on the third day of bleeding. This medication is used to induce ovulation in women who don't regularly ovulate, and it's also used in women who have regular menstrual cycles to help them produce more than one egg that month. Clomiphene citrate works by acting on the estrogen receptors in the brain. It tricks the brain into thinking there's no estrogen around, so the brain sends a signal called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, to the ovaries to get the ovaries to produce an egg or a follicle in an egg, some cases more than one egg. While most women who take clomiphene citrate don't have any side effects from this medication, there are some common side effects that are related to the fact that the brain thinks there's no estrogen around. So those include headaches, nausea, bloating, breast tenderness, um, and in rare cases, a disturbance in visualization. And a known complication is that of multiple pregnancy or having more than one baby. It is not uncommon also for women to have enlargement of the ovaries, and that's an expected outcome in this situation. And sometimes women might develop hot flashes while taking this medication um, and might have abnormal uterine bleeding. All of these symptoms resolve quickly after stopping this medication. Gonadotropins are injectable fertility medications. They, are, they act as the same action as follicle stimulating hormone from the brain and luteinizing hormone from the brain to stimulate the ovaries to make multiple eggs. They are used in some situations to induce ovulation in women who do not ovulate regularly uh, and we also use them to make women release more than one egg, uh, usually in conjunction with intrauterine insemination. It can also be used in very high doses in an IVF cycle to make women produce multiple eggs. The side effects of gonadotropins are related to the fact that it's an injection medication. So they are typically injected in the abdomen and also the upper thigh, and in those spots you can get redness, swelling, bruising, and tenderness. Women who are in an IVF cycle can get um, symptoms of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome if they have high levels of this medication. GnRH agonists and antagonists are used to prevent women from ovulating early. We use this in an um, IVF cycle to make sure that the eggs are released at the time we find appropriate when they're at the most mature. Ovulation and egg maturation drugs are injection medications that are used either to induce ovulation or the release of an egg or to help in the last process of maturation of an egg before an egg retrieval in an IVF cycle. Common side effects are related to the fact that they're injection medications. So again, pain, tenderness, bruising, and swelling at the injection site. These medications are given approximately 35 hours before the egg retrieval in an IVF cycle. And the timing of this is very important because this is the ideal time for the ultimate maturation of the egg, but without the release of the egg occurring. Women commonly ask about the risk of birth defects while taking fertility medications. While there has been some association between uh, abnormalities in the fetus and those women who took fertility medications, it is unclear whether it's due to the medications themselves or the fact that couples with infertility are more at risk of having a child with an abnormality. The risk of abnormalities in a fetus does increase with a woman's age, and this is another thing to consider. Another concern of patients is the risk of ovarian cancer while taking fertility medications. There were some earlier studies that suggest an association, uh, but later studies have refuted these results. We do know that women with infertility are at higher risk of having ovarian cancer, and those women who never have children are at higher risk as well. This may account for some of those um, studies in the past, but there's no recent evidence to suggest that ovarian cancer is associated with fertility drugs.